Hey guys, <clears throat> Houston Cowdog here. Custom one underscore sixty four farm trucks on Instagram. Check me out over there. If you guys don't have an Instagram account yet, you need to get one because that is where all the really good diecast content is these days. I know you get sick of hearing me saying that, but that's really the case. There's very little good released, frequently updated content left on Facebook. And there's not really any good websites anymore. Okay, I've got a couple of custom trucks to show you tonight. That's it. I've not built a lot of trucks lately. I haven't had a ton of extra time. And to be honest with you, I haven't had a lot of good ideas on what to build uh, lately. And so I, um, I haven't built much. Um... We will show you these couple of, of trucks that I've built, and then I'll show you guys. <coughs> I got a huge uh, eBay score. I bought a total of 31 cars off of one seller, 31 loose green light cars from one seller. I got them all at a really good price, and then I got an outstanding deal on shipping. And I'll just go over some of those cars with you. A lot of them are, um, are hot pursuit cars that, that I don't collect, but... Uh, I got them at such a good deal, I, I'll, and I'm going to resell them and maybe make a little bit of money. Okay, this is a, um, it's a 2011 uh, Ram welding rig uh, built from an Ertl uh, 2011 Dodge Ram. This truck started out as this. Really cool Ertl, uh, a really cool truck made by Ertl. These are have been around for forever. Uh, the, but this truck I started with, uh, I shaved the bed down on the sides. I ground the sides down and flattened them. And I cut a good portion of the bed off. And then I went back with styrene and fabricated this bed onto the existing Ertl bed. It turned out really nice. I'm really proud of this truck. Uh, it's got my cap light treatment on it. Uh, in person, this truck is off the charts, guys. It, it looks really nice. There's the welding equipment, the welder, the welding machine, the, uh, the tanks, uh, exhaust for the welding machine, and, the <coughs> uh, and then the hose for it. This truck will go up for sale on eBay. I'll probably list it tomorrow night. Let's put that guy in the background. And then the, the only other custom truck I have you guys to show you guys this week is this. And it's just going to be a vintage uh, Texaco Wrecker. Uh, it goes well with my... Um, this Texaco station I made a few years ago out of a cardboard box. Uh, it's a green light, or, uh, I'm sorry, a green light. I believe that's a 71 or 72 uh, C10 cab. Uh, yeah, it's a 72. And then it's got an M2 wrecker bed on it. And then the wheels on it are from one of these. It's a hot, it's a true 164. It's actually a, just a tad bit smaller than true 164, but it's a, uh, a 164 Christmas Hallmark or Christmas tree ornament. I think I've shown this truck loose before in a video. That's a very cool truck that Hallmark made. Hallmark has done a very nice line of 164 fire trucks. And let's see. This is another car I kind of made this week that I thought turned out nicely. That is an Auto World. And what is this supposed to be? 75 or 76? Let me put my glasses on here. I still can't tell. It may even be a 74, and I'm not good enough to tell you by looking at the front end whether that's a 74 or 75 or 76 Trans Am. 
You know, I think that has to be a 75 or 76 because it has the curved rear window. And that's just got a wheel swap on it. It's got some torque thrust on it off of a Hot Wheels 100% car. As a matter of fact, the, the car that I took this set of wheels off of is right here. And I swapped those out. That has now has some green light rear, or green light torque thrust on the rear with slicks. And then I have no idea what those front wheels and tires came off of. They just came out of my parts bin. It could be off of a, some kind of an Ertl, like a um, tractor supply store Ertl car or something. Um, okay, guys. Then also another thing I wanted to point out in this video is this guy right here. This is one of the new Matchbox moving parts cars. It's pretty cool for $1.99. Not bad. Does not have painted detail in the engine bay, but still. And the scaling's actually not too bad. I, I know you guys um, hear me complain a lot about Matchbox uh, releasing cars that are much smaller than 164 scale. But this one's not too bad. It's, it's smaller. It's definitely probably near maybe 168 scale. Uh, but it's not bad, especially when you consider, when you compare it rather to the 70, or 70 step side. It's pretty close. And physically in real life, this, uh, what is this supposed to be, a 63 or 62? Yeah, 63. You know, a 63 Chevrolet probably is a little smaller than a 75, uh, a square body Chevrolet. So they got pretty close. It's a little smaller, but... Nice enough, you can, uh, let's put it next to this. Let's just go with this Ertl, the stock Ertl truck. And it's pretty close. It's close enough to 164 scale. So good job there, Matchbox. They did a really nice job with the detail on that molding on the side right there. They did a better job with it, actually, than uh, Johnny Lightning. Well, in the earlier Johnny Lightnings, anyway. Let's actually, let's compare these side. The Johnny Lightning is actually probably a little bigger than 164 scale. And it's definitely bigger than the Matchbox. And obviously, it has a lot more detail. But all in all, not a, not a bad job from Matchbox on this truck. Let's go with the Johnny Lightning that has a little more detail. Pretty good. That's a really nice Johnny Lightning truck right there. Nice wheels, nice tires. Really accurate. Let's see if I can get that to focus a little bit better. There we go. So pretty pleased with that. I hope that Matchbox keeps that up and in, in keeping uh, <coughs> some of their newer releases at um, closer to 164 scale instead of this. Which is literally probably smaller than 172 scale. That is tiny. Let's compare that to this. Here's a. Now that green light Impala is probably a little bigger than 164 scale, but still, that is a monster compared to that Matchbox 76 Caprice. Does Matchbox have this? Yeah, they have it. A 70, 1975 Chevrolet Grand Prix, 1968 Impala. So this car would have been really cool. I've ranted on it about a previous video. That car would have been awesome had Matchbox made it just a little bit bigger. And let's see here. Do this this is kind of a cool side by side there's that auto world trans am and almost the identical color here is in a very similar wheel here is a racing tramps 78 that makes a nice little pair and i don't know where the wheels came from on this racing champions i think those yeah i can tell by the tires those are m2 auto wheels wheels and tires on that car 
Okay, guys, let's get to this. Uh, <clears throat> uh, here are a couple of um, sort of light custom trucks I did over the past couple of weeks. These are just some green light C10s that I did some wheel swaps on. They just have some uh, Jada dubs wheels on them. I really like this truck because I like it. This, this is originally a Texaco truck that I detampoed. I like this truck because of those really nice factory, uh, that factory Cheyenne molding. The grill's nice on it. Here is a 68. Same thing. Just put some custom wheels on it. Simple little stuff. They turned out nice. I think that truck looks really nice. Okay. I did add another case. If you remember, uh, last video I just had this case up and then the one up top. But I have added this one. So this one now is some Camaros. All green light, by the way. This is all exclusively green light on these shelves. Camaros, Corvettes, and some newer Camaros. Those two are really cool. Those two Yinkos. And then I've got some Mustangs over here. Well, it's a lower case. Some Fords, mostly Mustangs. And then newer Mustangs. Okay, guys, this is that lot. Well, it wasn't a lot. They were purchased individually, but we got combined shipping on all these. Most of these cars <clears throat> came from one seller. I got a lot of early Mustangs, which I did not have. And this lot did not include any of these uh, Trans Ams or Firebirds or that Camaro. But it did include all of these Hopper Shoot cars. Some of them are pretty desirable. Some of these Tauruses are pretty desirable cars. Some of these unmarked units are pretty desirable. I believe that this guy right here tends to be a little harder to find and maybe brings a little bit of a premium. And I think some of these Crown Vicks do too. I think this car might bring a little bit of a premium. So there you go. There's a green machine I found at Hobby Lobby the other day. I may have shown that in the last video. This is Johnny Lightning I grabbed off of eBay for the tires. This truck has five tires, five of these really nice Johnny Lightning off-road tires on it. And I've got another one out there that I can grab the sixth tire off of. So we can take one of these Ertl GMC Duallys, put a lift on it black wash those wheels and then have six of those really nice Johnny Lightning off-road tires to put on this truck. Okay guys, that's about all I got for tonight. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, um, let me know in the comments and we'll see you next time.